Ethylene oxide sterilization is a chemical sterilization process. Like Gamma, EO has the unique ability to penetrate packaging and to treat the products within. However, unlike Gamma, EO is a gas, which requires that the product packaging should also be breathable. EO sterilization is a more complex process than Gamma, usually requiring significantly more time to complete the process due to the additional steps that are required. When products are delivered to a Sterogenics EO facility, they're sent to a staging area where they're scheduled for processing. For most EO processes, the first necessary step is preconditioning. Preconditioning is achieved by raising temperature and humidity levels of the packaged product. This helps to ensure optimal performance of the process. Typically, preconditioning occurs in a separate area and usually takes between 12 and 48 hours. Product is then transported a short distance to the EO chamber for sterilization. After product has been loaded, the chamber is sealed. Air is then removed from the chamber by use of a vacuum system. In most cases, steam and nitrogen would then be injected into the sterilization chamber. Pure ethylene oxide gas is then introduced until required or validated concentration levels are achieved. The product is bathed in the EO gas and will remain in the chamber for a predetermined dwell period based on the process validation. After the dwell period is complete, the gas will be removed from the chamber and is then exhausted into a scrubbing system, which converts the excess EO gas into ethylene glycol for recycling. Once all the EO gas has been safely removed from the chamber, the treated product is moved to an aeration room or aeration chamber. The aeration chamber is designed to be a high temperature holding area in which the air is actively circulated and replaced a number of times each hour. This facilitates the removal of any residual EO gas that may have remained on the product. Product will remain in aeration anywhere from one to seven days. Biological indicators that were previously inserted in and around the packages prior to the preconditioning phase are used to measure the quality of the sterilization process. While the product undergoes the aeration process, the BIs are removed from the load and sent to our lab for testing. Sterility can also be confirmed by establishing processing specifications for each of the key parameters. Then, monitoring activity in the chamber to verify each condition has been met. Once this has been accomplished and documented, the product is ready for customer pickup and delivery. This process is known as parametric release. 